an event organized in Delhi, Foster Freeman has brought a mind-blowing product. The name of the product is Future Proofing Forensic Document Examination. It holds so many features. Among them are 3D imaging of handwriting, 3D imaging of security features, 3D imaging of interesting lines. Romain Le Blua reached Delhi to explain the product, held a session explaining the features of the machine. It was just a focused and integration time to have a good quality of image. Okay, I'm happy with that and I can give a name to that new case. Say, okay, we will see very quickly the three images being taken. Okay, done. And now it's opening the sub-software of the 3D imaging. It's showing me a first representation here. In order to process faster, I can select a smaller part of the image and then I click on generate. So I can generate a big model. We can do a test afterwards, like with a coin. Usually you see a very nice element on the coin with banknotes. So it gives very nice 3D models, but the most interesting case are usually those intersecting lines. So I click here, it takes a bit of time to process. We improved the capacity of computers delivered with VAC at Southern because of this recently, because that requires really a lot of the power of the computer. It will take a minute or so to generate the 3D model. And then we will be able to play with this model to identify the lines. So it just finishing. And here I see the 3D model. What I can do already with the mouse is to zoom on this 3D model. Or if I click, I can change the rotation of that 3D model. From that 3D model, I also have access on the right. For example, here you've got a ball from where you can select where the light comes from. So if you've got problems of shadows and you want to detect in which side the shadow should come from and which side the light should come from, you can control it directly from here. So I, I could zoom even a bit more on this. I could exaggerate the height. So if it's not high enough, I can exaggerate this to make it stronger. And I could invert it also if it helps. And I could even give it fake colors. So in that case, you see this very nice model like this and like this you it seems to me that this line came first on this one the best way to understand it is to reinvert and do it like this and you see which one came to disturb the other one afterwards you can see which one came and changed the first one that was already here thanks to the small details you see from those images. Dr. Indira Sudha, a fingerprint expert, she has also attended the session and she expressed her view about the VSC 800 3D machine. It's quite interesting and uh, I found it uh, very enriching, knowledgeable in the sense that uh, it's quite useful for the forensic field where there is a where you have to find a differentiation in the document where there are different uh, lines are there if you if you want to separate them and if you want to see what is the uh, if there is any superimposition or anything like that it's quite interesting quite useful i wish the for foster freeman try for more advanced techniques like this and they incorporate fingerprints also towards the uh, development process yeah i, I it should it should. It, once it comes into practice, then, then only we'll be able to know. Many people are implementing 2,000 and all, but I don't know about 8,000. Let us see how many procure it, then only we'll be able to know how it works. So, uh, it is yet to see how the Indian market reacts on the, this 3D machine.